a chance at redemption for Jordan and Savannah. This was huge to get a win over their former teammate, Candace Parker. But could they do it? They failed right towards the end. They had to play a full game with very few mistakes. But Buckets and Baller were born to do this. They were going to make the sky come crashing down. Game two of this homestand, or, the, or this road trip, I should say, excuse me, against the Chicago Sky. They had lost a close one, and I kind of jinxed myself there when I said it was going to go to overtime, not realizing there was like point, like eight seconds left or something like that, and I ended up jinxing myself. I've been really enjoying this series as Savannah drops the first three of the game. And, uh, you know, I've been having a lot of fun with this series because it, it gives me a little bit of experimentation. You know, NBA is not a typical game that I find myself playing, but it was because of the backstory of you know, Savannah and Jordan, the Williams sisters, and the whole wrestling thing. You know, and, and the way that I articulate my characters and the way that I give my characters a little bit of backstory that, well, I got NBA 2K22 thinking that I wouldn't like it as much or thinking that I wouldn't, like, play it as much besides this series. And truth be told, I don't play it that much other than this series, but I still, I realize that... You know, for a game that I don't typically play, I used to play the basketball games, you know, on the PS2, and, you know, I noticed a lot of things in the in the NBA 2K series that I would like to see in, in the WWE 2K series, uh, you know, especially with the character models, the way the models look, the way the hair looks, the way the game looks... Anyways, I, I would really like to see some of that incorporated into the WWE side of things. But I've been really enjoying this, and I'd like to thank everybody with their support on this series. Uh, you know, this was a project that I wasn't sure how I, how it was going to go. I wasn't sure, you know, how it was going to be, what was going to happen with it. And I've been really liking it as of late, so... As the Sparks look to take home a win here over the sky, they they had a quite the deficit, and then they came back and tied it, Williams. but allowed a three. And lost 94 to 97, I believe was the score of the last game. So they're looking to finish this two-game road trip here with a victory. Or at least one victory out of the two games. We turn over there. And that's what killed the Sparks momentum. Was turnovers. Savannah trying for the three and she can't get that one to go. They, Jordan and Savannah have been really like suffering beyond the art which is something that they don't normally struggle with obviously Jordan's still trying to prove her case as a starter to be a starter and I, I think she did with the amount of points she I believe she landed at least like 50 something points last game so you know she's definitely making her case to that she should be a starter along with her sister Savannah right here. Savannah lands a three ball, makes it a three point game, 12 to 15 here in the first quarter. Savannah Garden here. Oh, turnover there. Good for the Sparks. Hopefully the Sparks can get back and 
tie this one as Savannah looking to tie it and she drops a three to tie the game. Beautifully done. Chicago timeout call. And that's guy got to call time. As the Sparks tie it. 15 to 15 all. Savannah sits for the remainder of the first quarter. And now Jordan's getting some starting time. We saw in the last game she was getting some uh, some time with Savannah. And rightfully so because you know she scored a lot of points in that game. She was a big part of that comeback even though the Sparks ultimately didn't come out with the win. Due to not protecting the three-point line as Savannah unfortunately turns it over here. Sky get a bad shot there. Three point game still. Sparks lead. 26 23. Jordan getting the ball. Jordan going in. And Jordan can't quite get that one to go. She's been having trouble getting some of the easier shots to go. Is Savannah with the steal. Savannah getting the ball back. Savannah can't quite get that one to go. I don't know why she passed it. She should have just. Gone to the basket. Holy. Somebody leaving. Their assignment wide open. I don't think that was Savannah's assignment. I think. I think that was someone else's. 26 all. Jordan with the ball. Jordan with the pass to Savannah. Savannah still trying to improve that three point percent. First quarter, she had a 56. Field goal percentage, as you can tell by that little graphic there. She's got 15 of the 29 points of the Sparks. Jordan. Jordan with the pass to Savannah. Savannah's going to shoot it. And, oh, that was a little bit off. Second chance points by Zowie B. And Zowie B can't make that one to go. It's just not working. Dolson gets a three ball to go and then ties the game. Savannah's been losing the uh, losing the assignments here. And that would explain why she's getting to take a seat a little bit. Savannah... Back on the court in the waning seconds of the half here. Hopefully she can get herself back on track. And bad shot. Sparks looking for one last basket before halftime. Oh, turnover. Can't quite make the wide open three though. And the sky get away with one as Sparks go into halftime 48 to 36. Decent lead. Let's see if they can keep it. Savannah with 21 points, one rebound, no assists. Now let's see if the Sparks can keep their lead for the whole game. That's been troublesome. They let teams come back. They haven't been able to hold on to leads and making really stupid decisions, and that almost was one of them. But the Sparks able to retain possession. Passes that would be trying to find trying to find an opening. Savannah gonna get a three ball with someone in her face. Zowie B. Zowie B with another pass to Savannah. And Savannah drains the second chance. It's 
Savannah still being a pest beyond the art. There's another shot offline from the sky. And the sky haven't scored in the past five minutes since the end of the first half here. Five to shoot. Wheeler's got to take it anyway, and oh, almost got it. It almost doesn't cut it in the NBA. The Sparks. Sparks foul. Amanda Zawi B. Looking to hold on to this lead here. First team foul. And got it. Pretty decent one, almost a 30 point lead. Almost. And getting turnovers like that ain't gonna help you. As the Sky don't score off of that turnover. They've, they've had it, their fair share of turnovers and they haven't been able to capitalize on, on many of them. Savannah trying to go for it all with the three ball, but can't quite get it to go. There's Candace Parker. Savannah and Jordan's former teammate on the New York Liberty. And Sparks got to call time. They got to regroup here. They can't let the sky come back. You know, that's been that's been troublesome for them. They've just choked away leads. They just haven't had haven't had the best luck in holding on to leads at all. Getting the foul. And you get the substitution here. And Jordan and Savannah are back on the court together. Doesn't want to lose her assignment. Good guard in there trying to steal the ball. Don't want to get a reach in foul there. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. You heard the announcement there. Two minutes remaining in the third. Oh, Parks almost got one. And they just haven't been too successful here tonight. Wide open three, and Savannah's going to drain that every time. It's very, very difficult. To stop Savannah when you, when you leave her wide open like that. Oh, almost escaping with the ball. Jordan's guarded. Courtney there. Savannah going for the three, almost in, but out. She's been getting some unlucky bounces. It's not that they're not good shots. She's just been getting some unlucky bounces. Stevens with a three ball, and Savannah got lucky there. She left her wide open. You know, since making a couple changes to the sliders, I really like it because... You know, I want to make it a little bit realistic because Savannah is not always going to make threes. You know, regardless of how good the shot is, she's not always going to make threes. Jordan's not always going to make threes either. So I wanted to make it so that it was more realistic. Jordan playing good defense. Oh, bad shot there. I don't know if that partially was blocked or what. Going for the last shot. Buzzer beater and Savannah lands the three at the last second there. Getting the buzzer beater. 
Buckets and Baller look to be doing pretty well here, but they still got one quarter left, and they can't afford to allow the sky to come back. To the spot. Savannah and Jordan sat for a few minutes. Now Savannah coming back onto the court. Savannah trying to go for another three and bouncing right off of the rim. There's Candace, her former teammate. They couldn't keep... They wanted Candace to come along with them. But this, the Sparks couldn't sign the veteran and the, the two young MVPs. To lengthy contracts, you know, so they couldn't even afford to give her a one-year deal even because they wanted to put all their money into their future And you know when you got two young bright stars in Savannah and Jordan, you know, you're gonna put your money on them over a, a Veteran and now that's not to diss Candace Parker at all. She is a fantastic player on the floor, but you know, when it comes down to it, you want to put money into your future. You know, you want to put money into people that are going to be around for a while. So you don't know. And, you know, we don't know if Candace would have been around for that long. And Savannah hits another three. And she's been absolutely lights out. Lighting up. Three-point line. Another steal, great steal there by Savannah, poking the ball away, and Savannah's going to go for one hand in her face and still landing one. And she is at 42 points. Now, I went ahead and, um, you know, when I first started this series, I, I had, like, quite a few badges on uh, Savannah. And, you know, I had some badges that kind of didn't make sense for her play style. I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, so I went ahead and uh, right when they, you know, joined the Sparks and I had to do, like, a completely different roster because I do the custom roster for this and everything else. Um, and I just did the custom roster to put Savannah and Jordan on the team. Um, you know, that was it. And I wanted to, like, make it a little bit more realistic to, you know, their playing style. So Jordan's going to hit, you know, sometimes she's going to go beyond the art. But Savannah's going to be the one that tries for threes more than Jordan does. And so I, what I wanted to do was I wanted to kind of, you know, have the badges reflect that. And have their different skills and as players reflect that. Rather than having them be like carbon copies of one another. Just different hair. You know, and some of you... I've been wondering if I'm ever going to change the hair of Savannah or Jordan, and we might, you know. Savannah may, may get, like, a new haircut, or Jordan may get a new haircut or something, you know. It all depends. Some of you have been wondering, like, where is the Buckets and Baller merch? Or where is the merch? Don't worry. Uh, since they are a part of RCW, my wrestling universe on WWE 2K, they will be getting some merch. I'm just really, really thinking about it. Like, really, really thinking of some designs and stuff. So, don't worry. They will be getting some merch. Don't fret. They will be. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. And it appears that the Sparks are going to get this one. You know, considering they are up by a huge, significant margin. And 
And now the sky are just missing all over the place here. You know, considering that the, the sparks are up significantly, I would be given, you know, maybe some Jordan a little bit more time. Here, some of your bench players a little bit more time. You know, it's not a playoff game. We're just right into the season. You know, you're up by a significant margin. You know, give Jordan and Savannah some playing time. You know, because we've seen Buckets and Baller play together, even though that Savannah got the starting s slot before uh, Jordan did, and now Jordan's still trying to prove that she deserves to be in the starting lineup with her sister Savannah as she lands another three. That, well, quite frankly, you know, you, the, the best chemistry we had seen be, between the sisters took place on the Liberty. So, you know, but the coach here on the Sparks, he's a different different animal. So, you know, you, 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 you want to, you know, they want to prove their way here. And Savannah knew that. Savannah and Jordan both knew that, you know, just because they were, MVPs, former MVPs, you know, at the New York Liberty doesn't mean that they are are not, or that they're just going to get a free starting slot. You know, you would think that they would, but Williams. that don't matter as Savannah gets that dunk right there. Another slot right there, and the Sparks win this one 99 to 71 as they take the, this away game over the sky.